Mindfulness would be to stop and really hear what are you hearing, see what you see, smell. It's a very broad concept. The first definition I'm proposing here, it's called open observation. It is stopping the continuous flow and observe what is actually happening. It's actually when the river is not too deep and you dig your feet into the sandbar of the river and you can feel the water passing. Mindfulness is observing what you feel inside and what you see outside without reacting to it immediately. Second aspect, it's directed attention. <laughs> Just take a partner. <laughs> Try to feel what's happening during this gap, during this pose. Observe what's happening. So you use your will, power, your attention and focus on something and do it as mindfully as you can. In the river picture, it is actually walking up the river. Uh, two partners, one partner uh, connecting or providing or creating very local um, focus of attention and the other partner simultaneously suggesting very large, very diffused space of attention. When you think she is shifting from one to another, lift your hand. So when you think she is moving from global to local, from local to global, just put up your hand in the air. It's a double way, so you go from the analytic process to the physical experience, from physical experience to analytic process. We take his work and we amplify it, mm. for example. Because he comes in, he proposes it to us, we lab it, we turn it into classes, people get, then we do, you know, there is this mm. process. We go with common interests and common questions to a studio, and we try to balance <laughs> more or less successfully, like between movement and conversation. There is a morning um, lab time, which is a small group of people who have been already working in the past together and uh, as a small group. 
to which and some added guests uh, that we've invited this time around the theme of mindfulness in contact improvisation. The second act is uh, the afternoon classes or labs where the same group in the morning shares and, and develops, I would say, this research articulated with a larger group of people in actual, uh, multiple classes. And then the evening jams. Stop leading, and it's not clear who will take it over. It's a moment of not knowing. And to stay in this moment and just to wait, listen, observe.